Hey man, today I'm showing you what OCR you can best use within NNM. There are lots of options and uh, I hear a lot of people use uh, Mistral OCR. Uh, I've used it for a while as well within my AI agency, but over time I've come to the conclusion it's definitely not the best. Um, I'm gonna explain what is the best, what's another really nice, cheap and even free option, uh, how Mr. OCR stacks up and what no OCR looks like. So uh, how it would look like if you would just extract the raw data from uh, a PDF. Let's dive right in. So first of all, I want to show you what no OCR would look like. Let's take an extract from PDF real quick. It's right here. I'll jump over right there. And let's pump it straight into a Google Doc. Okay, so I've set up a few. Uh, no, I've actually set up one test file. It's this exact file. And the thing with this file is that it has been scanned. So some person, uh, in this case, someone at the Missouri Department of Health, has scanned this document within a printer and this is the result so you have this document it's kind of skewed as you see um and it has lots of images lots of stuff so it's a pretty difficult image to work with but what if you would want to extract the text that's within this image uh, with, <laughs> that's within this uh, pdf <laughs> so um and what, what 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 would you do so let's first look at what what would happen if you wouldn't account for the the fact that it was scanned so you would just extract the data from the from the pdf how would that look like so we'll run this test workflow i've set it up it's downloading the file we've just looked at now it's gonna extract it and it's gonna pump it into a google doc so if we look at the google doc literally nothing has happened and do you know why that's because there's nothing to extract. It's all image. It's n it's not it's not text. It's not written type text. So that's why this just doesn't work. So that's when you have to move on to OCR. So in my opinion, I can tell you right off the bat, Gemini Vision is the best in OCR. It's the cheapest. Um, it's amazingly blazingly fast, and it just it's just Google. And Google is absolutely dominating the AI game. In my opinion, uh, yeah, Google is going to take over the coming years. So that's it. Um, but besides that, the funny part is it's just using Gemini 2.0 Flash. So it's actually, let's look at this, Gemini 2.0 Flash pricing. So it's per 1 million tokens in, it's 10 cents. I mean, I think it's not, I, I don't even think it's possible to calculate how little this costs. It's basically free. So let's look at the results. So I've also set up a Google document for this one. I've pumped it in and let's start it up. So it's downloading a file. It's transforming to base64. So that's binary string. And that makes it so that the OCR can read exactly what's written inside of those images. That's, I don't know. I don't ask me how that works. I always tell people uh, that ask me, bro how do you understand all this i need to understand what i need to understand to be able to help my clients and to build actually useful stuff that works in product production environments i don't have to understand how llms work into the deepest depths or i have to understand how these frameworks are built up or how this i don't know i don't have to understand all that i just have to understand how i can build really really solid workflows for my clients so that's all I'm looking at and how I uh, look at these particular uh, problems. So it is done. Let's look at the results. All right. So this is everything it got. So that's quite a lot. Um, so right off the bat, it just got stuff. That's like, that's a first, you know? <laughs> The, the no OCR one, it's pretty empty. So that's a good thing. Um, secondly, 
we can just uh, compare it for a bit. So if we take this one, uh, my bad. If we do that and then we do this, uh, I'm sorry, uh, we do this and then we do this. And we move this a bit to the side like that. All right. Then there, yep, all right. So right off the bat, it just got so much. Look here, DHSS, Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. It got all this, all this information right here. It got this Peter Liskowski. I butchered that probably, but I'm sorry. Acting Director, Jeremiah. It just got so much, guys. So, so much. Let's look at the... Look at if maybe it even got the signature. It literally got the signature. Look at this. Like it choked it choked the H because it thought that and, and I can't can't blame him. That pretty much looks like an H. But it even got the freaking signature, guys. That's crazy. So just look. Um of course in this video we can't go and read the entire document, but it's just so insanely accurate. So insanely accurate. It just all this information and guys of course most likely you're not you're not going to be using it for this so this is just for demo purposes we we use this almost always within uh the constraints of a business so mostly that's invoices or other uh, legal documents that are have to be scanned and have to be pumped into a, a, a crm or in their database or Whatever they, they, they work with uh, or what, what their team works with, it has to be moved somewhere. Um, you're rarely going to be looking at these insanely complex, uh, you know, documents with all these weird pictures and stuff. But it could happen. So you have to have a good OCR. And as we can see, Gemini did fairly, fairly well. So next up on the list is Mistral. And Mistral... I think if you guys are a bit into the Enid and YouTube scene, uh, most people in some in some weird way always use Mistral. And I think that's because they said, hey, we have the best uh, OCR model and every other one is pretty shit. And they showed a few graphs and a few tables where they showed how amazing their OCR model was. But with it, within my testing, uh, when I had to make actual workflows for my clients, they it, it just wasn't accurate at all just it just didn't work properly um it left out a lot um and that's just not viable in a production environment uh, especially when working with invoices and uh, we built this one workflow where um where it had to look at the invoice and had to tell the uh, sender if there was something missing so a lot of people sent invoices to that that uh, business but at one time, uh, like uh, um, one person had the 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 had that number missing. One person had no no f first name. One person had no city. You know, just name it. All these people just didn't really um, put much time in their invoices, so they couldn't work with that. So we had to build an automation that automatically sent uh, email with uh, the information that lacked. So it said, hey man, this, this misses, this misses. Could you please resend your invoice uh, without that missing? So I've tried literally everything. I've tried Mistral, Llama Cloud. Uh, at first we even tried the extract um, at the very beginning. But of course people are uploading their uh, company uh, names through images. And that makes it that it always thinks, hey, you don't have a company name listed so that's wrong of course they did but it just didn't see it so that was a problem so then we started looking at ocr options um and at the very end we landed at gemini fission because it's just amazing but let's look at mistral first no secondly we all we have obviously already had the uh, gemini fission so it's downloading file it's sending the pdf to mistro and it's getting the invoice and when we go here yeah all right look at this 
Um, Mistro, what you doing? <laughs> All right. Um, let's get that there. And I'm afraid... Yeah. It didn't do all pages. That's probably my bad. But we can really right off the bat just see right here. Didn't get the image. You see? You see? Didn't get the image. Um, what else? You know, I find it so okay. It's a, a just plain simple text. It's not that bad. But you don't want not that bad. You want really good. You know. Um. yeah so this looks pretty good but of course when we get right here and it's, it's quite unfortunate we can test it because i think i i didn't set it up quite right um so it just did one page but you can truly go off of go off of my word mistral isn't all that good as people say it is um but for simple simple stuff, it's uh, one euro per thousand pages. So this thing with like uh, six or eight pages <coughs> will cost you like half a cent. So that's not all that much. Um, and Gemini Vision is of course even cheaper. And this, no OCR is of course free. So you just have to pay for end and end. But that's, of course, you're already doing that. Um, so then we have the last one and this one is pretty pretty unknown um it's called lemma cloud and uh, i've stumbled upon it while researching what models i could use and the interesting thing about lemma cloud is that it has uh it lets you use it it's pretty amazing uh look at this ten thousand credits a month for free it's just free like i'm on a free plan i'm not paying anything right here and if we look at what this uh, extraction or no, this parsing costs, like you can use from like one or three credits. If you want more specialized models, it's like 90 credits. But guys, it's free. So this is literally a free alternative for OCR. If you really don't want to pay shit, you can use this, man. Um, and it works quite, quite well. Um, let's look at it. Let's pump it in course it's doing the same thing as before and we can already loosen this and hit that on that one guys if you're wondering what browser i'm using i'm using the send uh, browser uh before i used arc and arc just got really laggy and slow and um yeah it just wasn't a great experience it, it literally literally drained my battery and like two hours and now i'm using this it runs on firefox i was at first like oh, firefox why but uh it works amazing but all right let's get back into it um oh we have a we have a problem oh i think i didn't set this long enough yeah so the thing is it's not that fast <laughs> it's not that fast so you have to put a wait because right here you're you're posting it so you're sending all the data and right here you're you're pulling it so um you're pulling the the request like you did before so we have to try again but of course this happens guys it's and it and trial and error that's all it is um at least if you've built some actually actual workflows um yeah so i'm gonna be right back when we're done 30 seconds bye so guys, it's done. Uh, so you have to make sure you put long enough wait if you use this uh, Llama Cloud. cloud sorry. Uh, oh, and by the way, I, I, I haven't told you guys yet, but I think it's pretty important. I'm dropping this entire workflow in the description down below. I'm not gatekeeping anything. So you don't have to set up all those HTTP nodes that can be pretty frustrating uh, to set up. So that's all covered. So you can just try it and just uh, yeah you know look what works best for your use case um so yeah that's all down below so no worries for that 
Um, and then we're going to look at the Llama Cloud example. First up, no DHSS. That's like, first of all, like within invoices, this already unusable. For, for us, it was already unusable because that could be a company uh, logo, you know? And it just has to get that. It has to get everything. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious if it got the double name. Where was that? Uh, Patrick. Down the phone. Oh, right here. Oh, just got one. It just got one, guys. It didn't get the, the signature. So, yep. But remember it's free this is totally free and for simple use cases without too many t um you know it gets some images all right it gets some Im images but it's not not as good as google uh but it is free so remember that so guys uh i think we can wrap it up i showed you a few examples these four ways how you can do uh, actually three ways how you can do ocr and one way how you uh how you you know can do it manually without OCR, but that just doesn't work when you use are using images or scan documents. Uh, and I hope you guys can use these uh, one of these workflows in your uh, in your production workflow for your clients or maybe for your own business. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.